Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous video, we completed CROD modules of roles and permission and attaching of the permission to the roles as well. And in this video, we'll be applying those permissions to our these routes and these CROD operations so that some of the users can view something and some can't. And we'll make sure that super admin will be able to do everything. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud, or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Now let's get started. First of all, we'll be getting these menus dynamically. Currently, if I go here in the authenticated.view file, we can see here we are getting these menus like this, but we want to get this dynamically from the back end. And we want these menus to be available in every other pages wherever we go. For example, we want these menus to be visible in dashboard as well as when we visit permission page, whenever we visit this roles page. So we want these things in every other pages. For that, we need to pass this data from the inertia handler. So let me go to handle inertia request. And now let us pass the menus from here. And if you go here and look here, we have this route and this label. So let us do that. So I'll say here menus and the first one will be label. It will be dashboard and URL will be route admin dot dashboard similarly i will write other menus as well and come back okay i have written all those menus over here let us access this menus on this authenticated page we can do that by using dollar page variable we can do here v for menu in we can see here dollar page dot props in every component we can access this dollar page variable we can access dollar page dot props dot menus like this. Here we will say key and it will be menu dot label. And before doing this, let me show you this page dot props property as well. And let me also run npm run was over here. Now let me go here and refresh the page. And if I show you over here inside this view, I'll just zoom it. And if I go here inside this inertia, then we can see here props menu and these menus over here and we can access it by using dollar page dot props dot menus so i'll just do here dollar page dot props dot menu and key and in the href i'll just write here let's say menu dot url and in the dashboard it will be menu dot label like this menu dot label like this so i can remove everything from here now in order to show whether the current page is active or not, we need to pass this one also. So I'll go here and I'll pass here. Let's say is active. Then we can say here dollar request route is and we can say admin dot dashboard like this. Similarly, we'll do the same thing over here like this admin dot permissions dot asterisk i'll do it like this whatever comes after this then this url will be active similar thing will be for the roles as well now i can replace this thing with menu dot is active now let me go here and refresh the page then we can see these menus over here and if I go into the permissions, then also it is being highlighted. And before, when we visited this add new, then the highlighting on this menu was lost. But now it will show because we are doing everything from the server side and handling it. So if I click here, then also it is being highlighted. And also if I go here and click on edit, then also this permissions is highlighted. 
and even if i go here in the roles then also it is working perfectly fine which means that we were able to successfully make the menus dynamic now let us add permissions over here now let's say over here is visible like this and we can see here request user it will give us the currently authenticated user but if the user is not authenticated then it will return null so we'll do it like this and we'll call can method we have access to this scan method because if i go here in the user model then here we have this has roles okay this is coming from this spacey permission i have added it so when we use this then we can just call can over here and we can pass here the permission name and if i just go here inside this roles cedar then i have a bunch of permissions over here and i can see here view permissions module and view permissions list and view roles module like this so let me just write here view permission module but this dashboard we want for any users to be visible and the content inside the dashboard can be different for different users so i'll just pass here true and here in this is is visible i'll just say here dollar request can and i'll say here view permission module similarly i'll copy this and paste it over here and i'll say here roles module now let me also use this is visible over here in the authenticated section since we cannot use v if wherever we are using this v for so we should use v so like this and i'll say menu dot is visible if menu is visible then it will be shown otherwise it will be hidden so if i come here and refresh the page then permissions and roles are hidden but i am currently logged in as super admin but also these things are hidden but we don't want that kind of behavior everything should be accessible for the super admin so let us see how to do that let me go here in the documentation of this spacey permission and if we look here then we have to add this thing in the auth service provider so i'll go here in the auth service provider and i'll add that code over here and it will check if the user has role super admin then it will always return true otherwise it will return null and if we go here in the roles cedar then we can see here this super admin role and this is assigned to the user first the first user is inside this database cedar which is this admin we can also write here super admin like this so the username is super admin and the role name is also super admin but we are looking at this role super admin okay so if the user has the role super admin then they will be able to access everything now if i come here and refresh the page then they will be able to see this but now if i go ahead and log in using the editor because we also have this user editor if you look here we have this editor user let me add email and password and login then we can see this dashboard and permissions because before shooting this video i already gave the permission for the editor to this menu so if you go here in the roles section and if you go here inside editor then we can see here detach and attach over here it is saying view permission list and view permission module so let me detach this thing from here like this and if i come here and refresh the page then we will not be able to see these menus and here in the permission also nothing has been attached to it now let us go to this admin section and here in the dashboard sorry here in the permission and now we want to make sure only those users that have the permission to list these permissions edit and delete only those users can do this so for that we'll go here in the let's say in the permission controller over here like this and here in the index first of all let us try to show this thing if the user has the permission then they will only be able to see this add new so here in this index so we'll just go here and i'll just say here can and i'll say here create and i can just say here dollar request user can create permission like this now this thing we can accept it as a prop i'll go here in the permission index view and here at the top we can just write here can and type will be object like this we can also write this syntax and now let me just go below over here and here is the add new so we can just say here v dash if can dot create 
now if i come here and refresh the page then the super admin will be able to always access everything so we will always see this we'll implement all this and we'll see in the editor section this editor dashboard whether this editor will be able to access those things or not now let us go to this edit and delete button we can just add permissions to it from the permission resource file so i'll go here in the permission resource and now here also i can say here can i'll just write can in every other thing okay so i'll say here can edit and request user can edit permission similarly i'll do for the delete like this now we will be able to access that from here so item dot name item dot created at formatted then we'll also be able to access this can edit and delete and if we go here inside this action then we have this so edit and so delete we'll pass that value over here so i'll just go over here and i'll say here so edit so edit and i'll say so delete then we can say here item dot can dot edit and here also item dot can dot delete okay now let me go to this admin dashboard over here in the role section and in the editor section let me give this let's say permission module so view permission module and list permissions now if i go here in this and refresh the page then we'll be able to see these permissions but we will not be able to see this edit delete icon and also this create also here we can see because this if you see here then this is the super admin so we'll be able to see but if you go here in the roles section again go in the editor and let us say this create permission now if i go here and refresh the page then i'll be able to see this button also we are currently doing everything in the ui but let's say if a user tries to submit get or post request to that api endpoint then they will be able to do that so for that we also need to add middleware to our routes so now let me go here in the admin.php here we have this route resource it will be difficult to write middlewares over here so i'll change these into the individual routes and i'll come back and you can see here i have these individual routes for this and for permission i have all those listing creating storing editing update and destroying or deleting the roles and for permissions as well now here i have added this middleware can view roles list can create role can create role for this create and store they will have both the same permissions similarly for this edit we have can edit role can edit role and can delete role similarly for the permissions as well now even if the user tries to visit this specific route then also they will not be able to access it so for example let me go here in the admin section and let me just give here this edit permission the permission has been attached successfully now if i just go over here and refresh the page then we can see here we can edit the permissions over here this is the editor now if i click here then the editor can go over here and do things but now let me just go back over here one more time and let me just detach this permission now and now if i come here in the editor section and try to click on edit then we'll see here 403 this action is not authorized later on whenever we are adding this or deploying this to this production then we can change how this will look but for now this is good you can see here we don't have to even refresh the page because everything is being handled from the server side with the power of inertia.js okay now let me go over here and let me do the same thing for the index in case of the roles as well so i'll just copy this thing from here and i'll go here in the roles and here in the index i'll just go here in the actions and i'll paste that over here like this similarly i'll go here in the permission controller i'll copy this thing and i'll paste this thing in the roles controller i'll go here and paste that thing and i'll call here role like this similarly i can go here in the role resource and let me also go to permission resource and i'll just copy this thing and paste it over here and i'll say here role like this now let me go to this index page let me also go to this permission index page and copy one more thing from here sorry this thing and i'll go here and paste it over here like this now let me go here and refresh the page everything should work perfectly 
fine so assigning of the roles and permissions is also completed also suppose let's say we created a new role then we want to return that user to the edit page of the role because we can attach or detach the permissions from that page so we'll do that i'll click on here add new okay it is showing me blank so let me see what is going on over here in the console okay it is saying me that 404 and on handle error and cannot read the properties of undefined filter so here if we just see here props dot permissions dot filter okay yeah since we are only showing this attaching or detaching the permissions in the edit page so we need to handle that also so i'll just go here in the role slash create and here i'll just say here v dash if edit like this and if i come here and refresh the page then everything is okay now whenever this thing is created then i'll go here in the roles controller and if i go here in the store then we'll return redirect route edit and here will be role and we'll assign that variable dollar role over here like this so now we'll be redirected to the edit page let me just say here new role like this and click on save then we are redirected to this same page now we can just attach and detach the permissions let's say create permission or let's say permission module we want to attach everyone from here like this then any user having this permission can now do everything related to that of the permission and i think we forgot to do one thing over here in the row slash index over here here okay here i need to do here v dash if can dot create like this after this let me show you one more very crucial thing that we need to know if i go here in this handle inertia request then we can see here so many data over here and we are adding this handle inertia request over here in this kernel over here and it is added over this web middleware groups and whenever we are working in the front end also this middleware will be applied and it will try to access every data that is provided over here but we don't want these things to be happened whenever we are working with the front end so for that we'll just write here new middleware i'll say here inertia like this and i'll copy this thing from here i'll remove it from here and i'll just write that over here like this and this inertia let me go here in the route service provider and here we'll apply that after the wave we'll write here inertia like this then everything will work perfectly fine as before and it will only be applied to this routes admin file now if i come here and refresh the page then everything should work perfectly fine so in this video we have seen how we can apply permissions to our crowd module or anything and in the next video we'll be making the crowd module for the categories and we'll also be applying roles and permissions over there so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye